Welcome to a solo Rust adventure. Now today is a day into Forcewipe, and in this new update came some very interesting features, and one in particular I'm going to prove is broken. So, let's begin. Unlike most other wipes today, my objective was a little bit different. Before anything else, I wanted to get my hands on this new item, to see whether it alone could carry me through the entire journey. So no farming wood, no farming stone, I was after one thing, scrap. So I got straight to work. Now, the time was 3 p.m. and I was on a vanilla official server, just two days into Forcewipe. Now those of you who play know exactly how competitive Rust can be on Forcewipe. So today wasn't gonna be easy. That being said, I thought I'd take things a little slower by playing on a 500 player server rather than the torturous 1000 pop I'm used to. Okay, so why am I not farming for a base and why am I only focusing on scrap? Well, that's because I'm aimed for the outpost, the very heart of what makes this new item just so broken. And for now, it would be my home. Okay, I've actually got a good amount of components already. I'm just hoping that I can make it to outpost without dying. I have absolutely nothing to defend myself with. So if someone sees me or tries to fight me, I'm pretty much dead. Oh, thank God, 30 cloth. Okay, I can at least get a bag down. So if I do die, I can at least have a respawn near the outpost. Oh, uh oh, oh my God. Holy shit, that was terrifying. Camper van just drove past. I think we're okay though. I could see outpost, I'm almost there. Come on, please. Oh, I made it. We're looking good. So, I had made it to outpost. From here, I could recycle everything I'd gathered on my journey so far. And remember, the only thing I needed at the moment was scrap. And why will become clear in just a second. All right, we have 160 scrap, which I believe is just enough. With my scrap, I headed over to the workbench, opened up the tech tree, where I found the new item I was looking for. The metal detector. Oh no, I'm just a little bit of scrap short. How much do I need? I need 30 scrap. Okay, okay. That's fine. I'm going to craft myself up a crossbow while I'm here so I can defend myself, and then I can go quickly grab a couple more barrels. gonna go that way oh no 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 wolf please i can't shoot it because i'll get killed by outpost wait please am i gonna die no surely not come on come on come on where's the safe zone please no ah. oh i did it okay we're good after gathering a few more components along the road i now had enough scrap to research the metal detector Yo, this backpack is so cool. This is my first time seeing it in game. That is sick. I feel like this is going to be quite helpful for today because I'm just going to be hoarding loot and I think the backpack is going to help me. Okay, here we go. Just 20 minutes into wipe and I have got myself the metal detector learn from naked on the beach, no BPs. And now I can craft it with just two rope and a couple hundred frags. Here we go. So, as you can probably guess, today's video revolves around the metal detector. Now at this point, I didn't quite know how strong it was, and this was a pure experiment, but just you wait. As I push the limits of this to the extreme, I think you guys will be pretty shocked with the results. All right, I have no idea how this works, but what I have heard is that you can use this in the safe zone, which to me just automatically sounds so broken, but I guess it depends on what you can get, because I have no idea what loot I even get from this. All right, what, what do I even press? Do I? Oh, <laughs> perhaps I'm confused. Left click, okay, okay, okay. Aha, I see. So I follow the green line and as that goes up, that means I'm getting closer. Okay, does this mean there should be something in front of me? Oh, there's another line. Okay, okay, that makes sense. Oh, oh, I'm getting really close. Oh, <gasps> there we go. Another one. Oh, I'm getting the hang of this so fast. We already got another one. And there's a, there's a fourth, okay. Aha! Oh, and there we go, the light goes off. So I think that's all of the ones near me. So now, wait, okay, apparently there's a fifth. I think I'm just, I just want to see what's inside. I can't be bothered to get this one yet. Here we go, here we find out what is actually inside these. 
Ah, except before we find out, allow me to take a moment to talk about my balls. Okay, not exactly, but now that I've got your attention, today's video is sponsored by Manscaped. And now, they've launched the brand new Beard Hedger Pro Kit. Because what's the point in having trimmed balls when your face looks like Sassy the Sasquatch? What are you talking to me? So, what's inside? Well, the fantastic Beard Hedger Trimmer has a powerful 7200 RPM motor, and you can choose from 20 different hair cutting lengths with the smooth zoom wheel, without having to swap guards, which is pretty nice. Cordless, waterproof, and rechargeable, you can even trim in the shower to save time and create less mess. And pair that up with the lawnmower, and you'll be set for both upper and lower body. And also in the Pro Kit is the Sweet Almond Beard Oil, the Natural Beard Shampoo, Coconut and Sheer Butter Beard Conditioner, and everything you'd need to start the beard of your dreams, with a beard balm, scissors, brush, and comb. Now, I was genuinely really excited to receive this kit, and I have been using it since the day it arrived, and couldn't recommend it enough. So, head over to Manscaped today, and get 20% off, plus free shipping, with code Wildrum at checkout. Thanks to Manscaped for sponsoring today's video. So, what do we get from our very first treasure? We got a metal hatchet, okay. Uh... We got another metal hatchet. Um, that's interesting. We got nine scrap. Oi! He stole it! I don't know what was in there, but he stole it. Well, that's rude. That was very rude. Oh, we got another one. There. And... 25 frags. Okay, that one sucked. So, from the first two minutes of using the metal detector, I had got myself two metal hatchets, scrap, and some metal frags. Not looking too plentiful with the loot so far. But I'm not done just yet. Hey. Oh, four high core. It's actually decent. Oh. Wait. Bro. Where is this thing? This guy's looking suspicious. I think he wants to steal it. Get out of here! There we go. I feel like by the end of this, I'm going to be so efficient at finding these things. Ah, 25 frags. God damn it. Being such a new addition to the game, it seemed as though everyone else in Outpost was also intrigued at just what the metal detector had to offer. <laughs> I'm going to be so rich on metal hatchets by the end of this. Another four high call. More frags. So far, not had a lot of great loot. But uh, I'm gonna keep trying. And keep trying I did. The more that I practiced, the faster I got at finding the flags. And this is where things began getting a little more interesting. Five high call. Rifle ammo. Wait, what? You can get tier two shit. Coffee cat. What the fu- Bro. <laughs> you can get tier two items? What? And this was just the start, because not two minutes later, I found this. Oh, what? I just got a semi-pistol. In the safe zone. <laughs> With a metal detector. <laughs> no, this is so stupid, man. What the fuck? I don't even have to leave safe zone. I'm... 25 minutes into four swipe, and I have a P2. <laughs> this is so dumb. And the wildness didn't stop there. I was getting into the groove and farming at max efficiency. After another recycle, I was able to learn the pistol ammo, and I even had the resources to craft some more. And remember, I still have not fought another player. I have simply used the metal detector to get myself a tier two kit. This is so funny, man. I don't even have a base, and I have a P2. I've learned the pistol ammo. I've got coffee can helmet. Bro, I am set. You know what? I'm going to take this to another level. I am literally going to limit test this metal detector and see just how much I can get. Oh, five road signs. That's 25 scrap and five high core. That's actually a really good one. Oh, another five road signs. Another four. What is this RNG? This is weird, man. Oh, I'm getting to the edge of the safe zone. This is a little spooky. I could die, potentially. There it is. I am getting unbelievable amounts of high core. I have 50 already, and I haven't even recycled these road signs. This is actually, like, a viable way of getting HQM. Wait, my inventory's getting full. I think it's time to, uh, <laughs> to test out the backpack. Oh, that is so sick. <laughs> I love it. 
One recycle later and I had almost 200 scrap again and almost 100 HQM. Seeing as I didn't need it, I decided to trade it for even more scrap. So just 20 minutes into using the metal detector and I had almost 400. This made me realize maybe I could farm all the way up to a workbench level two without leaving the safe zone. So that's exactly what I did. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna farm up a little bit of wood because now I've got a metal door crafted and I'm pretty much ready to build a base. But deciding to farm a little bit of wood, I risked leaving the safety of outpost for just a few seconds. Wait. There's no way. Have, <laughs> Have I just got another kit? Oh my god, there's no way. <laughs> this is so funny. And now, exactly one hour on the dot from Naked on the Beach, and I had myself enough resources for a workbench level 2, without leaving the safe zone. All of that, plus the resources to build my first base. I think it's safe to say the metal detector has some potential. Oh yeah, look at that tier 2 crafting. Now all I have to do is actually build the base without dying, which is the tricky part. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm a bit scared. Because if I die now, I might break down. And after an hour straight of being entirely protected by outpost, I now had to step out of safety and head into the wasteland. As you may be aware, while outpost is safe, the area around it is very often the most dangerous place to be on the whole server. Filled with bases and active roof campers, I had to stay under the radar. Deciding that the safest place to be would be by getting high ground, I scaled the vast mountain overlooking the Arctic base. Oh my gosh, this mountain is a lot taller than I thought it was. I really hope it's safe up here. Oh. My. God. That is a big base. Holy shit. We're in day two, by the way. I am a little bit terrified. This may be less safe than I hoped. But I'm not sure I want to risk traveling anymore. I think this is going to have to be home. Finding a hidden crevice on the side of the mountain, despite overlooking the vast clan base, this would have to be home. Okay, I think we're good. I just gotta get TC down. I think we're gonna have to put it on this side. Oh, that is a relief. Tier 2. Down. Let's go! One hour into wipe, we got a base, I have 500 cloth, and I have a tier 2. Don't even have any blueprints because it's force wipe, but uh, not a bad start. Placing barrels through the rocks, which I learned with Gorliak in the cave base, and a new double door skin. Changing things up. And you know what? I think I'm a fan of that one. Well, seeing as I have the P2, I would like to learn that, because I have a tier 2, and so it's such a helpful blueprint to have. But, I am going to use the Glock. First up in my new home, I headed out to get some farming done, using the metal pickaxe, which I had also managed to find while using the metal detector. Polar bear. You know what? Oh my god, how much health does it have? I'm not sure if that was worth the ammo, but I really could do with this for the low grade. First run was a success. We got ourselves some metal ore, and I now have all the animal fat I need to get a furnace. Also, you guys know me. Despite everything, I held on to the bear rug that I found in my very first barrel. Oh, it's stayed with me this whole time, and it can now go on my base. <sighs> I actually feel surprisingly good. For the start of wipe, this is, uh, this has been fun. 
Obviously, as you guys know, I pretty much always play fresh white, but uh, unfortunately, I wasn't actually here on Thursday, which is why I'm playing a day late. And I almost didn't start because I was like, ah, I've missed missed white, but I'm glad I'm playing today. I have a good feeling. I think today is going to go well. With the animal fat from the polar bear, I crafted up two furnaces and got my metal ore smelting. And from there, I put my feet up, sat by the campfire, and waited out the first night time. When his morning eventually came round, the first thing I did was head out to grab some wood. This is actually a beautiful mountain. This is such a nice spot. I always find the best spots for my bases, I swear. After building my base with no prior knowledge of the area, I was completely in the dark. Was my mountain safe? What types of clans and players were built around me? Only time will tell, and soon enough it would become apparent just what I had to deal with to survive in my new home. There are so many clan bases around the snow. Oh! Uh oh. Guys, see me. That missed? No. Oh, I am not in the best spot here. Look at that base over there. Holy shit. Oh, that guy is so dead. And I think I'm probably dead with him. Yep. Uh oh. You know, I don't think I'm getting out of this one. <laughs> oh no. How many is it? Yep. Okay. With all of the large clan bases nearby, it's hardly surprising that my area was going to be a challenge. Now, being Force Wipe, my main focus was going to be Scrap. Without it, progression would be impossible. However, with the Zerg base above the Arctic camp, I was going to need somewhere else to farm it. Okay, now this might be risky, but seeing as it is literally impossible for me to farm the Arctic camp, I think I'm going to have to try this. Oh no, I think I can hear outpost campers. There are definitely people down here. Oh, this is scary. I don't want to lose my Glock. There's someone down here, and I don't know when the safe zone's gonna end. This guy sounds so close. Wait, the elevator! Oh! What the fuck? No, 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 there's another one. He's still in the safe zone, though. Oh! He missed! <laughs> Can I loot this guy? Why can't I lose him? Is he in the safe zone? Oh, I can! I can! <laughs> That's no way! Oh my gosh, they were both camping it with nades and syringes! These rats! After clearing the entrance of the outpost rats, I made my way down to the underground station. I'm actually intrigued to know, because whenever I go to the outpost station, there are always people camping it. Are there people out there? who actually spend, like, their entire wipe doing it. Like, is that their strategy? They just, <laughs> they log in, and they camp outpost entrance tunnels. Is, is that a thing? Because I feel like there must be people that only do that. And if that is you, I I'm disappointed. Oh my... turrets? Okay. Wait, that's actually insane. I really have to make this back alive. I continued to clear the underground stations, looting what I could and making my way far from outpost. I knew that if I surfaced there, my fate would be sealed. 
Yo, I love this new backpack, man. It's perfect for runs like this as a solo. You're doing trains, you're doing something that you know you're gonna get a lot of loot, and just being able to store extra stuff in there is so helpful. Because, I mean, I need these pickaxes, I need the extra bows, and I would normally just chuck that stuff away, but now I can actually grab it. But also, it is crazy how broken the trains are. I mean, I've looted, what, three stations, and I have so many components. I guess the, uh, the counter is, the risk of dying is quite high. Sneaking my way up the train shaft, I finally emerged to the surface and prayed that I could make the run home through the harsh clan territory. This is so eerie. All of the groups that got day one raided, with just the strongest ones surviving. There are no solos out here, I can tell you that much. Come on, please, I'm not far. I just have to hope I don't get caught out by some group roaming. I don't like this at all. I feel so vulnerable right now. I am just in the complete open. Oh my gosh. Come on, go on. No, I don't think I can climb this, please. I just want to get to my base. Please. Oh, I can make that. Come on. Come on. Yes. Oh my god. I did it. Oh, and relief. What a run that was. Three rows of comps, got an auto turret. Oh, that feels good. Now that I'd safely banked the excess scrap and the auto turret, I took the rest of the components and headed straight to Outpost, my nearest recycler. Wow, so I pretty much got 500 scrap from that one trains run. But what if you combine the profits of trains and then the metal detector? Well, while I was at Outpost, I thought I'd give it a go. See, I've got the hang of this now. So you don't really have to right click while you're only on the green bar. You can just follow it around until the green bar's full. So like that. And now that I'm close enough, now I can zoom in and then I get a rough idea of which way to go. And I can pretty much just speed through it, which means there should be one. Okay, I'm... <laughs> God damn it. I was so close. That was almost perfect. Now I can't find it. Okay, okay, we're recovered. Ooh, there should be one in front of me. There we go. And then... Where's this next one? Should be this way? Wait, maybe not. Ah. This way. Where are you? Where are you? There you are. Got some more 5-5, five five. we take it. More 5-5, five five. okay. And some frags. Oh shit, got a revolver. Wait, that's actually really nice. I'm gonna learn that. And more frags. <laughs> no, <laughs> these guys, they want my metal detector loot. They can't have it. Oh, got a pickaxe. <laughs> They want it, man. No! They got the hatchet. God damn it. Oi! Stop it! Hey, got the high call. I'm getting so much 5-5. Five five. More frags. Bro, this shit is so therapeutic, man. I've just got music on. I'm just completely at peace. Which is very rare for Rust. <laughs> like, I'm just completely safe. Just chilling, digging up treasure. It's kind of weird, but it's also kind of feels good, man. And I think that's what makes this broken, right? Like, this is obviously not the fastest way to progress. I mean, take the train run that I did, for example. That got me more scrap in less time. But it's about the safety, and that's what makes this broken. The fact that I can farm all of this while being entirely safe, that, that is just insane to me. Something you definitely can't overlook with this metal detector, though, is the amount of high qual you get from it. I mean, it's insane. You get like five high qual every three or four things you dig up. I mean, 20 minutes in and you can get 50 to 100 HQM. It's kind of crazy. And when you combine the unique metal detector strategy with the overpowered nature of Outpost, you can reap even more rewards. Looking through these shops makes me so sad, man. I mean, we're one day into wipe. 
And just by coming to outposts and using the drones, I mean, I could buy guns for 20 crude oil. How just, like, upsetting is that? It makes you think, like, what's the point? What's the point of playing this game the way it should be? When I can just hit one red barrel and buy a saw. <laughs> like, is that not insane? I don't know, man. I feel like it takes away the purpose of roaming and PvPing when you can just get everything by buying it from Safe Zone. Which is kind of what I'm demonstrating in this video, actually. This shouldn't be how OP the metal detector is. It should be how OP Outpost is, man. <laughs> I'm, I'm able to progress so far without fighting. Hey, we got our 1,000 cloth. Revy BP, let's go. And after spending the night at Outpost, it was time to return home. Oop, that guy is going the direction I wanted to go. That's a little bit sketchy. Oh. Oh, I don't like that. Nope, no, 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 no. Oh, he wants to pull something up. <laughs> he has a teammate! They can definitely kill me. Oh. Holy shit. Those weasels, man. They were waiting for me. Well, seeing as they're camping my exit, might as well get back to using the detector. Yo, what the fuck? I just got an ice pick. That's insane. Wait, and then a chainsaw. Bro, what are these drop rates? They're so weird. It's like they're on a timer. Wait, that's actually insane. Ice pick and a chainsaw from two consecutive pulls. Right. I think I've just got to make a run for it. No better time than now. Come on. Let's go. What a good run. Got all the components recycled, used the metal detector, managed to buy myself over a thousand cloth. Got the revolver, got ice pick and chainsaw. We're looking good. And with all the scrap that I'd gathered on the short run, I was able to research down the tech tree all the way to the garage door. Less than two and a half hours into force wipe, yet my progression, yet my progression far exceeded many of my previous wipes, already demonstrating the power of the metal detector safe zone. I used my new ice pick, courtesy of the metal detector, and farmed up all the nodes I found in my area, before chopping down a bunch of trees with my new chainsaw. So far, everything was going smoothly. Almost too smoothly. Oh, is that a hazzy? It's like right above my base. Oh wait, it's two, I think. Wait, they're building. Oh no. Oh, that's not good. Oh! That is more than two! What the fuck? I have to kill them because they're literally building right next to my base. Oh no, they're pushing me. I think it's just two more. No! That's another one! <laughs> what? Four guys? Bro. Why are there four full geared players building right next to me? What happened? They are building so close I can literally hear it. Bro, what are the chances, man? I'm in the middle of nowhere. And they just happen to, to build here. Yeah, I, th I think I need a garage door. I... <laughs> I am no longer safe in my home. This group was a very clear threat. I had to try and do something now before it was too late. Oh my god, yeah, they built a two by two literally right next to my base. Oh, there's one outside. Actually, I can kill this guy. Oh! Comes and die. Ah! Give me the gun! Oh, they're gonna be out so fast. Oh no, they're coming. I hear them. I'm one dead. Oh, bro, I couldn't see him. Oh, he's wearing full white out. Well, this 
might be a problem. As a solo player, sometimes you have to know when to fight, and other times, you have to know when you're beat. And as a solo player, living in a stone 2x1, mere meters away from a group of full gear players, I knew this was not a fight that I could win. So, the first thing I did was respawn my outpost and get myself geared up. I, I feel dirty buying SARS. I don't think I've ever done this in a video before. <laughs> I don't think I've ever needed to, and I don't even need to now, but I have the crude, so I might as well. Like, how silly is this? Literally spawned naked, farmed five barrels, and I have two stars. <laughs> it's so, so stupid. Outpost needs gutting, man. Okay, yeah, these guys are still here. Look how close they built. Yeah, no, I, I cannot play out of this base. As soon as they realize that I live here, my base is gone. I need to do something about it. With the new group built so close, that left me with just one option. I would need to find a new home. What you doing? Huh. I'll take that. Had a double barrel as well. You know what? Force swipe, I will take every gun I can. He also has a teammate. Might also have some loot for me. Guy just folded. Oh, yeah, nothing. Wait, that was the AK guy. Now that I had all the materials I needed, it was time to find the perfect location. Okay, now I really like this mountain. It's quite nice. It's just that group that's the problem. So I think if I go a little bit further around this way, I'll be just far enough away that I can survive without getting under their feet. I mean... <laughs> wait. This is quite nice. Oh, I could build something cool here. Could this work? Can I even build walls here? Oh my god. Now this is perfect. Fuck it, we building right here. <laughs> I can barely even fit tool cupboard in. But it's fine. It'll work. I'll make it work. We have a tool cupboard at the door, but we have no walls. That is okay. Bro, this is so nice. This is actually the perfect little crevice to hide my base in. No one's gonna find me here. It's beautiful. Oh my, rocket raid going on. And now, with my new 1x1 one one built, it was time to transfer over all of my loot. All I had to do was not die on my short journey there. Oh, okay, that's one run done. Gotta do that two more times. Okay, another run done. At least now I actually have an airlock on here. Feels a little bit better. Oh, it's turning morning. Thank God. I can finally see. I mean, that workbench placement's kind of cool, but I feel like that's going to be awkward to reach. Yeah, that's better. Got the barrels behind the tool cupboard. Oh, footsteps outside. Gonna lay low for now. Okay, last of the loot. One more run. If I make this all over, then we're looking good. Let's go. We did it. We have a new home. Okay, now I had an idea while I was building this, and it might be a little stupid. It might make the base a bit weaker, but I think it'll be really cool. So what I'm going to have is a little shooting peak on the first floor down here. Like a really OG one. And I think it'll look really cool. And then on this other side will be a jump up to the second floor. But for now I'll just have a door frame there. Oh, look at that. That's perfect. 
goes like right into the rock. It is beautiful. Oh my gosh, it sounds like that group are getting themselves into uh into some action. Might have to go have a peek. Hearing a big fight break out at my new neighbor's base, I thought I'd go and investigate. Oh. Oh. oh, that was another one. No. Oh. Oh. He's got naded. I think the neighbors are losing. I don't think they've won that fight. This guy's Do you have anything else? No. Combat eye for the dream. Uh oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bro, what is going on? What the fuck? Oh, that's a nade. <laughs> I don't know what is going on. Okay. I think these are the neighbors. I think they have just lost. That is, that was the AK guy. I think they've just lost a lot of their guns. I don't know what happened, but they're down bad. Seeing the group in disarray, I knew that now was my time to take advantage. I feel like now might be a good time to try and go deep. At least drain them of some of their guns. They seem to be scrambling. Oh. Yep, that was the AK guy. Oh, they're in shambles. <laughs> Bye, suckers. Oh, that feels good to get a get a little win against them. Kick them when they're down. All right, brought the last of the loot over. Everything has now been transferred into the new base. Let's get it a little bit more secure. Lovely. Feeling nice and cozy in my little cliffside base. Needing a little farm to keep upgrading my base, I headed out to grab some nodes. Ooh, I reckon I can maybe fit two boxes there. Oh, actually. It's gonna be close. Maybe. If I upgrade the frame to metal. Might just squeeze one in. Oh, maybe not. Come on. <gasps> oh, look at that. Now that is satisfying. Three barrels, two boxes. Not bad, not bad. Wait, that guy's got a pickaxe. That's probably worth chasing. He might have come from outpost. Come here, bitch. Oh my god. Wait, this guy's walling on me. <laughs> He's got the walls. Oh! What the fuck? Um. Uh. I'm fucking running. I'm running for my life. Come on. <laughs> Please let me off this cliff. It's so awkward. Oh, there's nowhere I can get up. No, no, please, come on! I, I can't, I can't go anywhere. I, I have to go all the way around. Let's go! Oh my god, that lovely gentleman just farmed for me. What a hero! One of my paid actors. And with all the stone kindly delivered, it was time for some base upgrades. I think since we're going quite OG vibes with this, I'm going to build an interesting base. This is going to be something not like you've seen before. I think it's good to keep things unique. Too many meta bases nowadays. We're going back to something old. Now, if any of you remember this type of 
shooting floor. I commend you. Because this was kind of like back in the the peak glory days of compact, weird, wacky base designs where garage doors didn't exist. All you had was single doors. So it was in the days of the single door wood box jump up. And then you had these little compact towers that you used a small box in a door in order to be your boost. Uh, you'll see, you'll see. It's kind of confusing to explain. Alright, maybe if I build twig. Oh. Oh, it still works! Let's go! This is gonna be glorious. I wanna get this perfect. Hmm. No, I can, I can do it better than that. I want it slightly more towards this side. There we go. <laughs> and so now, that is our... <laughs> that's our roof. <laughs> All I need is a ladder to access it. And we're going to be gaming. It's magnificent. A little bit of improv. <laughs> but it's cool. After all the building, I headed out to grab some wood with my trusty chainsaw. And after getting it home, it was beginning to get late on into the day. I decided to do one last roam. And that was when I heard something pretty interesting. Rocky raid going on over there. No, it's actually not too far away. Oh, double launcher. Wait, it's that base getting raided? Oh my god. That is quite a task. Oh. Double minicopters flying in? Bro, what is this? These guys aren't even with the raiders. Oh, they're fucking diving! Holy shit! <laughs> oh, they fucked it up! They both died. Oh my god. Nope, nope. I don't know where I'm getting silenced from. Oh, that's not good. What the fuck is going on, man? Okay, that guy's outside the base. I might be able to go for that saw guy. Well, that guy's blown up. Ooh, saw guy's coming back this way. Might be able to get the jump on him. Kind of just disappeared. Unless he lives in that compound. Which he actually might. Oh yeah, he lives in that compound. There is not a whole lot I can do about that base over there, but I might be able to kill this guy as he comes to try and counter. Oh, someone bringing more rockets. Okay, so that's the guy that lives here. Oh, he's AK. Silenced AK. That's what was shooting me earlier. Maybe if I wait for this guy, he'll eventually come out. And I can get the jump on him. I will want that AK. Wait. Another two minis? Are they trying again? Are these guys really about to dive the raid again? Sending two more? Holy shit, they've got two on each. <laughs> Bro, they're all heavy armor. What the fuck? These guys are crazy. I'll give them props for that. 
Oh my word. I don't think it's going well. They missed. No. No. <laughs> That's one down. One down. Oh, they're still going anyway. <laughs> Fucking animals, man. Come on. Surely this guy comes out of base for that. Wait, he's out. He's out. He's out. Okay. Hopefully he's got AK. Come on. I can get this guy. I don't know where this guy went. I watched him come up to the base and now he's just... Wait. I think so. No, don't tell me he was only saw. Does have a backpack though. Oh, he didn't come out with AK. Six walls and a saw. What a madman. And with that, my day one came to an end. But my metal detector shenanigans of this adventure weren't over yet, as we begin day two. Okay, so far I had used the metal detector to successfully get myself a workbench level two, build my base from the ground up, while also getting me tools and weapons. So how could I take this even further? Well, could I use the metal detector alone to raid. Ah, it's a new day and the clan are still on their roof, but I am ready, ready to get to work with the metal detector. I am prepared to put in a shift because I am going to use this metal detector to get me all the scrap I need to learn satchel charge and bean can on the tech tree just so I can raid. So that was the plan. I made my way to outpost and got straight to work. The goal, farm up enough scrap to learn the satchel and bean can. Simple. Oh, salvaged axe, I've not had that before. I worked all throughout the night, uncovering all sorts of treasure. And by morning, this is what I have. Not a whole lot. This might take a while. It's just as well, I'm in it for the long run. This guy's trying to steal my treasure. We got another P2, let's go. Alright, we're not doing badly now. We're getting there, we're getting there. I have a lot of high core, which I can also sell for scrap too, which is good. Oh, I just got a road sign jacket. Another one. Bro, I'm putting together a full fit. Oi, what do you think you're doing? Shit never gets old. Right, now if we sell all of the high call I farmed, how much is that? 384 scrap. You know what? For 45 minutes, that ain't too shabby. We got a P2, couple revolvers, 800 frags, bunch of ammo. Not bad. And so, after a day of farming the safe zone with the metal detector, I was able to work my way down a fair chunk of the tech tree towards the satchel and bean can. I was almost there. Unfortunately, while I could use this strategy to get the scrap for the blueprints, I was still gonna need some sulfur. After finding so much hidden treasure, I had plenty of leftover frags to upgrade my core. That guy is loaded, full whiteout kit, military backpack farming. He's probably with the big group. I feel like a little terrace here would be cool. I can maybe even put... Oh, maybe I could put my auto turret in that triangle. 
We'll make this out of wood. I think that would be cute. And then we'll put some frames under here for the for the stability. We don't really need them, but they look cool. Ooh, I think a roof here could work, because that will also act as the stairs up to my entrance. And after making it home and combining the scrap from the metal detector with my leftover scrap in base, I was finally able to learn the satchel and bean can. Annoyingly, I really need the ladder BP for this base. It would be very helpful. But for now, a barrel will have to do. There is someone outside. Oh, I just killed him. One more. Oh, no, I'm going to bleed out. No, I almost killed them both. Oh, damn. I just popped off with the Revy. <laughs> These guys seem a little too interested in my humble cliff base. I don't like it. Now that I had the satchel and bean can learned, it was time to pull together my resources in an attempt to do some raids. Alright, I've got GP cooking up. I don't have masses, but I will be able to go through a couple of metal doors eventually. So I've got to find myself a target. But what I want to do now, actually, is set up my auto turret. Because every cute cliff base <laughs> needs an auto turret. No one will expect it in here, that's for sure. Hey, hey. Look at that. Now I just gotta get some power. That two solar panels hooked up to a battery and an auto turret. Simple. So, with gunpowder crafted up and the satchel and bean can learnt, I was now ready to do some raids. However, it also seemed like my area was beginning to come alive. That is not an outpost. Might be able to do something here. Wait, that guy's full kit. Oh! I'm gonna get roof cams. Please don't, please don't hit me. Come on. I think I can lose it. AK? Okay. I got a Molotov, that'll be huge. I'm out, I'm out, I gotta go. I'm getting pushed. There's no way I survive this. Oh. oh, so many. There's a guy in there. Oh, he's very low. Oh, I'm getting silenced from somewhere. Oh my. Okay. Tier 2 and Sulfur? Wait, this is actually huge for a raid. I need to get this home. God, what a generous donation. I needed to farm Sulfur. That guy's just delivered me 3.6k. Goddamn. Alright. <laughs> I can't even know where I live. <laughs> that ain't good. You know what would be really nice to do? To raid these guys. After moving in, I know they had AK full kits at some point. I think they did lose a lot of guns, but I can bet they had a lot of gear left. This could be a good target for me, actually. I mean, I could go 10 satchels through the stone wall, and then it would maybe be another garage door. I definitely want to try it. it could be worth. Oh, wait a sec. Why was he backing up like that? I almost just got an LMG. Wait, these guys are actually pushing me. <laughs> they really want my revolver, I guess. Oh, we don't know. We think we're broken or alone. Oh, maybe. <laughs> Bro, at least I sat one of them down. 
They got cocky, man. So, I had a few raid targets in mind, but I wanted to start things small. I decided my first raid would be on the closest base next to mine, seeming like it would be very cheap. I crafted up the bean cans and the satchels, and I was ready to go. Okay, I'm really hoping I don't need more than eight satchels for this base. It seems like it wouldn't be more than that. And yesterday, I'm pretty sure I saw where TC was, and it's grown a bit since then. And I think I can raid it through just two doors. So it's this one right here. Yesterday, it was basically just a shack. And I'm pretty certain TC is above the metal foundation, if I'm not mistaken. It's a very weird base but strikes me as the type of base that might actually have a lot of farm. So I guess, uh, here it goes. Oh, lag. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, one more door, and I'm pretty certain tool cupboard has to be behind there. going off fast. What the fuck? Wait, no TC? Did he move tool cupboard? What is this base? I am so confused. Oh no. I don't want to waste any more satchels, man, but I have to finish it now. Four more satchels, here we come. TC has to be behind this door. I swear, I saw this face yesterday. It can't be anywhere else. Oh my good god. I am so confused. I have made a grave mistake with this base. I thought it would be a cheap raid for farm. And so far it's horrible. Oh no. I guess we got 350 low grade, but that was not worth. God damn it. I have made a terrible judgment. Running low on wood, I took a bunch of my stone and headed over to Outpost to make trade. Alright, pretty successful run. Let's get home. Oh, this guy thinks he's slick. He is following me hard. I can probably kill him around this corner. Oh, he knows it. He knows he can't shoot me. Oh, what you gonna do, buddy? Yeah, that's what I thought. He's trying to bait me. I can shoot him, but he can't shoot me. No, oh, I missed. Yeah, he's gotta run. He's got no choice. All right, I'm going. Go, 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 go. Hey, who the hell is this? Oh my god, he doesn't miss. Oh, that was a close one. At least we made it. Hey, that was the same guy. <laughs> Little rat. I got payback. That's what he gets for trying to kill me out of outposts. Oh. No. Got him. Oh, I think that's a farmer for the big group. I gotta loot quick. Please be loaded. Please be loaded. Oh. Let's go. Alright, I'm out. I'm out. I gotta run. What is that guy doing there? Holy shit, he scared me. Well, this isn't good. I'm attracting a little bit of attention to my base. After the unsuccessful first raid, I wanted to make sure that my second one was worth the farming. And so this time, I was going for the neighboring group that drove me out of my first base. However, I was gonna need to farm some more sulfur. crazy how much loot I've managed to build up considering I've not really been doing very much farming it's just kind of happened I don't know how 
You know what? I'm going to spend some of my valuable scrap and learn the medium battery. I'm going to need it for future wipes, but I also want it today because I want to be able to keep my turret permanently set up. Nope. Okay. <laughs> okay. Cool. Are you out there? I didn't see anyone. Okay, I mean, this is just getting a little bit too scripted at this point, like... <laughs> the two things I need, scrap and sulfur, and this random fucking guy has clearly just come from outpost. Oh, I mean, I'm gonna get so many fucking scripted comments in this video. Okay, let's get these furnaces loaded up, I'm going for that group. I'm gonna need at least 10 satchels for the stone wall, but I'm probably gonna need even more for after that. I can finally learn the ladder, which makes my base functional. Now you can finally see how it's meant to work. So you come up here and you've got your little peak up there on that box. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. And while my sulfur smelted down into gunpowder, I decided to work some more on my base. This really is going to be one of the most unique bases I've built in a while. And you know what? I love it. It's got character. It wouldn't be a complete base without a Tokyo Tower. What can I say? I'm a man of culture. Right, so we need that as a square. And then we can have a window, window, window. Roof on top. Beautiful. How could anyone want to raid such a beautiful base? That's all I can say. <laughs> what the fuck am I even building, man? I, I don't know, but I love it. The best part is, it's actually quite a strong base. Like, you're gonna need at least 14 rockets. It's not bad. It looks like it would cost nothing, but it's quite tanky because it's built right into the cliff. While I'd been building, my sulfur had been smelting down, and I finally had enough to craft up 10 satchels. It was time to see just what that group had inside their base. Cheap metal door. Okay, a little bit. And what is behind that double door? Oh! No. No way. These rats griefed themselves. That is crazy. Damn. I guess they really did have a rough day. They weren't planning on getting back on, and they sealed themselves in with armored. Ah, oh, well that sucks. No way I'm raiding through that. It's not worth it. 
That's probably just despawned. That is so disappointing, man. Two raids, two busts. But at least I know that group aren't coming back, and I got my neighbor out of the area. It is what it is. Getting late into day two, and I wanted to make something happen. So, I headed deep into the heart of clan territory. Oh, these guys are still on their roof. Genuinely, I think there has been someone on that roof for the entire 16 hours that I've been on this server, yesterday and today. <laughs> Literally, the entire time, I'm just always hearing shots. And now they're at me. Thank God. He is terrible, though. Oh. Boots. Oh, he's inside the compound. Damn. Doesn't seem they're coming out of their base anytime soon. I'm just gonna head over to harbor. Had some gunshots there. AK. Wait, he's on top of the thing. Oh, I bet he's part of that compound I was just sitting outside. Makes sense that they control harbor. <laughs> Average group on an official server. Oh my gosh, this feels so free. I just don't trust the P2 to finish him in like one magazine from here. I have to get closer. I don't think I can win it from here. Oh my god, I so badly just want to shoot. But I, I just know I won't kill him. I'll headshot him, I'll hit him, and then I'll get cover. I have to get up there, I think. Oh, I so badly want to go for it. I just want to wait for him to shoot. Next time he shoots, I'm jumping up that ladder and praying that he doesn't hear me. Come on. Oh. No! Oh, no way. No fucking way. Did they, did they not fall? No, I thought I saw it fall! Shit! Oh, it's there. Let's go, baby. No one's been silenced already. Wait, I hear it. It's close. Where? Where is he? We out of here, man. We out of here. No way. I thought I heard something behind me. That guy was MP5? What the fuck? Bro, he was coming for me. I can't believe that. Come on, come on. Get me to outpost, man. Holy shit. P2 in a dream. And I came out with an AK. God damn. After the dust had settled and I'd recycled at outpost, I made my way back to base. And now, armed with an AK, it was time to wreak some havoc. These guys are kind of coming my way. <laughs> Four ladders. Were they headed towards my base? I think they might have been. I'm not really sure where else they'd have been going with that. Oh. That sounds like it's calling me. Okay. Oh, I can't hit that guy. Oh my, 150 high qual. Bro, people coming from outposts are just so loaded. I 
I just run Arctic. Definitely just run Arctic. Bro, that guy was already aimed at me. Star on a P2, we take it. That's farming right in front of me. Oh wait, it's the third. I don't think he knows where I am. He had a backpack on. It was AK. What in the world? Another AK? Okay. Oh, the backpack. What the fuck? It was moving loot and I just stole it. No fucking way. Get me home, get me home. With two inventories of loot, three AKs and rows of metal, I had to make it home alive. I'm so close. I'm nearly there. Come on. Wait. No, they saw me. No, they saw me. Oh, God. That's our big group. I think I'm going to have to fight. I don't think I can run from this. Oh, fuck. Okay, maybe that bought me some time. I'm going to try and run. Come on. Go, 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 go. More time! More time! I'm just buying time! Come on! I can get out of here! I think I got away from them. I think I might have got away. There's more shots in front of me. No! Oh, he hit his shots! Fuck!